the Georgia case against President Trump and his co-defendants? Well, I tell you what, I've been calling to defund Bonnie Willis now for, I don't know, I guess three or four months. But what's more shocking to me than what Bonnie Willis has done is that I can't get not one Republican senator to agree with me that we must defund Bonnie Willis. Who in their right mind would want their tax-paying dollars, their hard-earned dollars, going to something like this with Bonnie Willis? You know, it takes a co-defendant to file a motion, but we got a piece of legislation right here called the Stop Political Persecution Act. And it essentially is a de facto pardon for Donald Trump and the 18 others that have been indicted. If this was passed through the Georgia legislature, Bonnie Willis' case would be no more. How many more of these instances do we have to have before we decide to take action? Well, maybe some of your fellow Republicans out there think that, hey, Fannie Willis gets, needs to go on vacation, too, and why not on taxpayers' dollars? Look, adding fuel to the fire, Roman's filing reveals two meetings took place between the White House and Nathan Wade. Wade even billed the courthouse for his visits to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. The Biden regime vehemently denying that they're involved in any way in these cases against Trump. Uh -huh. in, my, in my view, this is textbook collusion. Am I wrong? No, you're absolutely correct. And this has been very obvious to any of your listeners who've been paying attention for the last couple months and have been observing Fonnie Willis and her actions. That's why we were calling for an investigation of Fonnie Willis months ago. That's why I've been calling to defund Fonnie Willis. But yet, that, the bigger surprise here, why aren't Republicans in Georgia taking action? You know, they keep pointing back to this well, failed prosecutorial commission. Well, hold on a second, Senator. Let me just bring this, because this is my last question for you. Last year, yeah. your own, air quotes, Republican caucus suspended you for your efforts to hold Fannie Willis accountable. Now, given these revelations, do you feel vindicated? And what should the fate of those so-called Republicans be after they sided with such apparent corruption here? Yeah, absolutely I'm vindicated. And, and if they're not going to do anything, they're going to continue to side with Bonnie Willis. I would tell any Black of the listeners, especially those in Georgia, find your way to the Capitol. Nothing makes these legislators more nervous than you showing up in their office and demanding that they take action. They're all here for the next 40 days. So I would encourage any of your listeners into Georgia, come to the Capitol, hold your legislators accountable. Senator Colton Moore, thank you very much. Appreciate the time. A lot to talk about. This is a clear right. double standard. Remember yeah. that show back in the day, Different Strokes? Mm -hmm. You know what I have to say to Fanny? What? what are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> this is a bogus <laughs> case. Well, let's talk. Let, let's unpack this for our, our, our viewers. First, it's the case that she hired Nicholas Wade, her former boyfriend, right? She had a relationship with him before she hired him on a big, fat contract to go after Trump, right? Secondly, he, in turn, is visiting the White House to discuss how he's building the case against Trump. Right. This is total collusion on the taxpayer's dime. But I don't know if that relationship is over. We don't know that. Uh, so we need to No, it's this. definitely not over. They've been taking vacations together. Exactly. So right. they're, they're in, in bed together, no pun intended. Uh -huh. But the situation is... It's pa taxpayer funded That's and right. it's collusion. That's right. Right? To, to possibly and promote, talk. promote her political career. But yeah. it's going to actually end up backfiring on her. Yeah. Well, they've got to look into both of this. The fact that she awarded such a huge contract to Nicholas Wade, when, according to the reports in the New York Post here, he had no prior experience pursuing a RICO case. None. Right, right. So, well, well that means that his law firm. Right. should take him off the case. That's right, but obviously that firm got hired because of that, that romantic that relationship. relationship. Right. So we'll leave it there for, for right now. Impeacher. Just flying by, but we still have more ahead, folks. Stay with us. We're coming.